Cancer, hello my beautiful soul, how are you? I hope you are well. My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with spirit and I, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from spirit. He is an absolute amazing coach, mentor. If you have any advice on any area of life, he has got the practical application nailed. He is absolutely incredible. He's been one of my greatest teachers. You will not regret it. His information is down below. If you have any troubles in your life at this time, I highly recommend going and checking him out. It's amazing. All right, so without further ado, Let's dive right in, Cancer. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. One more shuffle here and let's go. Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, the Empress, Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Woo! And the Fool card whipped out there. Beautiful. So, right now, there is a new beginning in your life. This new chapter is absolutely going to be glorious for you in, in the terms of what it's going to bring about. But, as we know, when we are eliminating old chapters and starting new chapters, that old, the, the, the chapter that we need to, we're, we're, moving, we're moving from and into, okay, the from, very hectic, chaotic, don't know what we're doing, feels crazy. Again, it's, it, we're, we're in a video game, right now I feel like you're beating the last boss, okay? You're like, oh my god, I'm going in this thing and it's the hardest level. But you can do it because you've had the experience throughout this chapter to be able to do this. Remember... The number one thing, Cancer, the number one thing that will make sure that you are always successful is if you always ground and balance your emotions, okay? Because if we are ever in a frantic, chaotic state, we are resisting and we are stressing and we are putting pressure on ourselves and it disconnects us from who we really are. It brings us back into our smaller self. Our smaller self takes things personally. Our smaller self wants to complain and judge, particularly ourselves, wants to compare. And here's the thing. Right now, you are in a beautiful new time. This new chapter that's presenting itself is going to be full of love. It's going to be full of connection. It's going to be full of knowledge. It's going to be full of community. It is a uh, very much a personal growth um, chapter, okay? And right now, the most important thing the universe needs you to do is really get clear about where your standards are for yourself, where your ceiling is. I'll tell you something. A lot of the times when we are creating and we see, we see what we're creating from a ceiling view. So we see where the top is. We're like, okay, so I see what I'm going to create now, right? Say you want to write a book. I got to write a book. I need to write a book. I need to write a book. The book is your ceiling. The book is your cap. If the book is your ceiling or your cap and you can't see beyond that, that's a problem. That's going to be a problem because then that book feels very overwhelming, right? Think bigger. And as a Cancer, you, you can do this. You are an empath. You are sensitive. You connect with the universe like that. So here's the thing. You got to think bigger than the ceiling, okay? You got to think, okay, well, after the book, what could happen? What do I want after the book? Well, after the book could be book tours. Maybe there could be some conferences. Maybe I could travel the world and see people from all around the world, maybe in a very hot, beautiful, tropical climate, right? See what comes after that. And you can, because you can ask the universe to show you. Universe, show me, show, please show me what comes after this book. What will come, at, what will happen after this, this, this time in my life? Sit with yourself. Let this perspire because it's here for you. It's here for you. And a lot of the times we get stuck, right? Our ceilings get stuck. Universe is saying, right now, become the master at this trap, at, at beating this boss. Just be the best version of yourself right now. This is all you have to do. It means that whatever career you're in, just be the best at this so that you feel so, sat so you feel satisfied with yourself, Cancer, so that you release resistance to that more coming in. And remember, when we can sort of see past that ceiling, we, we don't put so much pressure on ourselves to accomplish this one task in front of us. We're like, oh, well, we're, we're going over there. So this thing just has got to get done because I want to go there, right? That's the energy we need from it, right? So it puts things into perspective for us and it allows us to process things much easier. 
Okay, so again, big spiritual uh, uh, personal developments going on here. I feel like you're limiting, uh, you're eliminating a lot of limiting beliefs right now as we speak. And I feel like the more that you dive into this uh, chapter of your life with certainty, with gusto, with the understanding of where you're headed, this is what is going to eliminate even more limiting beliefs. Because it's kind of like the idea of like, say like, we were afraid to travel, okay? We were afraid to travel. We really wanted to go traveling, but we we're kind of afraid to travel. We didn't know, you know, is it gonna work out? Am I gonna be able to, you know, say we had an online job, is it gonna work out? Am I gonna be able to make money? Is it gonna, what if something happens? You know, and we had all these thoughts. And then, say for instance, you had a family member that, for, that lived overseas and was like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start a family. I'm gonna start a family and actually I'm pregnant and I would really love for you to come. now." that visiting the family member with the baby is going to be much more exciting to focus on than the fact of the travel. Even though you want to travel and your soul's calling you to travel, that's not enough. You've got to think of a re bigger reason why. You've got to not cap yourself at the travel. You've got to think of why you're going to travel now, right? And so that's what we're talking about. So when you cap yourself, it's overwhelming. You think of all these reasons why you shouldn't do it. Think bigger cancer so that you can eliminate all of that and then you will that's when you really eliminate a lot of b limiting beliefs because you realize that the reason is bigger there's a bigger there's a bigger story to this and if you're not sure where that story is or where it's going you can sit with your guides and angels and ask them to show you spirit guides and angels please show me my path please show me what comes after this and then let it be release it don't put pressure on yourself to hear it don't put pressure or stress on yourself to feel it just let it come let it come and and they will show you they always always will you'll be able to see a vision they'll they'll give you a, a feeling someone will say something someone will 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 contact you there will be a a, um, a very distinct uh guidance in there somewhere in your life somewhere there it's there again if you're looking for it you will see it if you're not looking for it and you're just living your life like a zombie you won't see it so wake up See what's out there. If you're already watching this channel, you're already woken, so I'm not worried about you. So here we have the eagle spirit and the mouse spirit. What universe is saying is right now, at this time, exactly what was being said with eagle spirit, spirit has your back, set your standards higher for yourself. Where you want to go, it's not enough more than that. What comes next? What comes next? That's what's important. It's always important to raise ourselves up so that we can get that passion going, so we can get inspired again. Oh my gosh, this isn't it for me. Oh my gosh, but there's more. That's what we need. We need that e e emphasis. And all you have to do, once that happens, then you're gonna recognize what steps need to get done. And a lot of the times, it's not much. And here's the funny thing, right, Cancer, is that when we're we're involved in a, a new chapter, okay, or, or we're, we're beating the last boss and we're in an old chapter, and we're thinking, you know, a lot of the times we're feeling like, is this it? Or am I doing the right things? Am I on the right path? You know, when we have this feeling of uncertainty, it's just because we haven't set our standards high enough for ourselves, and we kind of are questioning it. But then when we see the big picture, we're like, oh, I'm going there. Okay, well, in that case, all I have to do is put a little bit of energy into what I was doing. I also need to put some energy over here so that I'm prepared. Maybe a little energy over here so I have energy, you know, some exercise or whatever it is. You know what I mean? It gets very easy. The path gets laid out much easier. But again, when we're so focused on a tiny little area, it starts to become very confusing. We're like, are we on the, are we doing the right things here? And that's just the universe letting you know that set your standards higher for yourself and you will be able to see the bigger picture, okay? set your focus higher. And that's with Swan Spirit. It's universe is just saying, again, take that deep dive cancer, right? Take that, take that look at yourself and be like, hmm, have I been thinking too small here? Because after all, this is your fairy tale. This is your movie. Have you been thinking too small, right? A lot of the times when we think too small, the universe lets us know. It lets us know with a feeling of uncertainty. Oh, well, I'm just going to do this and get this, you know, no, think bigger than that. This is your life, baby. You can have whatever you want. What do you want to be? Billionaire, millionaire, uh, successful, corporate. Do you want to uh, help people with a uh, with a uh, big, large company? Uh, do you want to help animals? Do you? What do you want to do? What do you see yourself? What do you really want? Right? Get and and, and again make it big whatever you're thinking make it bigger than that so that you detach from this thing and it doesn't become such a big deal overwhelming because you're headed here right and then all the little bits in between will work themselves out and you'll know exactly where you need to go all right cancer 
I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Cancer. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.